Guys, welcome to Rockingham Dragway. We're here for Digger Die Christmas Clash 4. So this is my first time here at uh, Digger Die, and I gotta tell you, last night was absolutely insane. Uh, shout out to Peglos on YouTube for going to the semifinals in uh, Stick Shift. That was really entertaining. You gotta check out the coverage on this channel. But uh, today we're gonna do some small tire extreme street, and uh, I gotta tell you guys, we have 111 cars in small tire. The biggest small tire field I have ever seen, I have ever filmed. Uh, 111 cars in small. Uh, Extreme Street is about, what is it, about 40 cars? Wait, something like 40 that. 40-ish, yeah. 40 yeah. But yeah, small tire, 111 cars. You know, there's 2,000 on top of the pot, so what, we're over like 33 grand, something like that, and change, I'll put it up there, but it's incredible, guys. All the killers are here. Like, this is gonna be a good video. So uh, if you can, put it up on your big screen at home and uh, enjoy the show. We're going to go down and talk to a few guys first and uh, get to know some of these players. And then uh, I'm going to talk to these guys in the lanes between rounds. So uh, it's going to be a lot of interviews, a lot of getting to know these dudes. But 111 cars, this is going to be a good show today. So I did live stream yesterday's competition. If you want to check the live stream VOD for uh, yesterday's stick shift. Uh, we had low budget nitrous, we had big tire guys, and uh, daily driver. If you want to go back to the live stream VOD, hit the... Go to my YouTube channel, click the live section, you can watch that. It's an eight-hour VOD, so you can enjoy that right now if you want to. But uh, this is obviously the edited video. There is a live stream happening today, so you can watch today's live stream as it happened in full length. It's probably going to be 10 hours long. Man. It's going to be long. But uh, this is the edited video. Enjoy the show. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, Dig or Die Christmas Clash 4 right here at Rockingham Dragway. Let's do it. Tell me, what year is this truck? It's a 1953 Chevy. 53? Yep. Alright, so uh, chassis, frame, everything, what is it? Uh, it's got some stock appearance chassis to it, but it's just basically a chassis truck. Okay. Four lane, tubular front, no front cow, all that stuff. Yeah. So you're running, running what you brought in small tire with it? Uh, what engine you got? What's going on? Uh, it's got a aluminum dark 427. 427? Big twins in the back of the bed. Yeah. That looks badass. Yeah, twin Tom. Oh, uh, no, not that real crazy, but yeah, it yeah. works. How long you been building this truck? Man, I bought this truck. Uh, <laughs> Layla Pierce owned it, and they started with it, and uh, he sold it to his buddy Cody Folsom, and then I bought it from Cody. Okay. So, right. Was it always a twin turbo setup? Yep. Yeah, I, mean, they had a, I think they had a single up front at one time, but uh, I think last year or so, it's been twins in the back. So how does it get down on the no prep? It does good. It's, it's got a lot of power, so you got to kind of you got to be real touchy on the management. You got a lot of weight back here with the turbo kit set up and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You do a lot of mainly just backside stuff. You Man, do that street stuff too. For the way the way the weight bias is set up, it's got to be backside. Yeah. Some front side, but it's got to be real crap front side. Can't be done real fast. Okay. Yeah, okay. He likes the wheelie, so. So where do you normally race this truck? Man, uh, we've been. They've had it everywhere. Me personally, I've, I've, I've been to Kentucky, I live in Louisiana, and then been here, so I'm starting okay. to travel a little bit. And you're hooked up with our buddy uh, Trevor, TC Tune here. Is he doing some tuning for you? And he's been tuning for me for, uh, I got a shop in West Monroe. He's been tuning me for about three years now. So. Nice. Yeah. All right, buddy. Well, this truck is badass. Awesome. Uh, I noticed it right away. Like, it, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a party, buddy. Yeah, but, I appreciate uh, it. So good luck this weekend in a small awesome. tire and running with your right? Awesome, thank you. Awesome, man. thank you. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah, let Mike do it. Hold on, what's yeah, this? Mike, 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 Mike. So guys, I've been Mike, working Mike, way Mike, harder Mike. than anybody else on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trevor, what's this thing right here? What's going on? 
<laughs> hey Trevor, what's up? How much guys? I've been working every day, every night. I outwork everybody in the country, so everybody knows that. I put on this new thingamajiggy. I put some plumbing pipe on it from Home Depot. We got a bigger turbo, so we're making about three to four thousand horsepower. Oh. But how much weight's in the back? Uh well. I can't really tell you that, but it's north of 4,000 pounds. Yeah. Well, it needs another 400. But we're going to put another 400 because the more weight, the faster we go. We're going to f people up today. F them kids. F them kids. F them kids. <laughs> oh, no, okay, seriously, Trevor, what is this thing that your intercooler's got? Tick performance, air to water intercooler. Okay, so you got a big intercooler change today? Now, you took me for a rip yesterday. Uh, check this out guys, this thing was absolutely insane. Crazy ride. That's probably the fastest ride of my life, man. Thanks again for taking me yeah, for, was, for a rip on the street. That yeah, was absolutely was insane. I absolutely love taking people for rides. So, oh, yeah? Yeah, it's good. Dude, it's like a carnival ride. It was so good. That pass, I don't know if you got that pass that I just did out yeah, there. Yeah, I saw that. So that was pretty fast pass. Probably three or four tenths too fast for that. So I'm going to take that. Yeah. Okay. And then that'll be your first round tune-up. That'll be my first round tune-up. See how it goes, man. The weight and the spring change and the shock changes that I've done in the last since last digger die. I mean, this car, it's it's been doing well. So minus some engine problems. Yeah, yeah. LS problems. Well, she's looking kind of dialed right now. And yeah, uh, good luck good. in Extreme Street, buddy. Nice. Glad I could take it for a real. <laughs> I appreciate that. That was so yeah. much fun. <laughs> nice. So we raced all Friday night, and you never know the difference. I'm amazed at how this surface doesn't except rubber it just doesn't take it it's not sticky at all either like listen to this there's nothing there so these guys are off the trailer 117 small tire cars racing for $37,000 US that's amazing Whew. somebody's getting paid today yeah guys if you're new here you notice you can't see the tree like it is you can't see the tree at all there uh, there's an incline back here, so you're actually driving uphill. So the stick shift guys, they allow somebody to stand behind their car and uh, hold it so it doesn't roll back because some of the stick shift guys will roll back, right? Because it's a hill. It's, it's, I don't know how many degrees it is, but it's a very obvious bow in the track. So. Part of the reason why guys are doing wheelies at the end of the track because guys make a lot of power up top and they're going uphill and then the wind catches them as they go over the hill. We saw yesterday with Casey Max, right? We'll go over a couple rules here. There's nothing fancy. It's down and dirty. Finish line is down there. We have a tire crack cam, finish line cam. If you cross the center line, you are DQ'd. We do something a little different here because it's for the spectators. Now, we have lines on the outside of your lane. Mind you, this track is almost 60 foot wide. So that means almost 30 foot of lane, right? So we come off six foot from the wall because we actually have spectators standing against that wall. If you go out that six foot buffer for our safety, you are disqualified. So you got plenty, plenty of room. You got 20 to 24 foot of lane to keep your car in. I've been on the street with some of you guys. The road we run on ain't that damn wide altogether. <laughs> so if you can't keep it in that, there's something wrong. As in crossing, don't matter if you first to last, it's, you cross. You understand? Everybody understand? And the reason for the buffer, if you cross that, you're that far out of shape, and you cross that outside, chances are you're not winning anyway. We don't want to get nobody hurt. We want everybody here to load up and go back home to their families on Sunday morning, celebrate Christmas next week. 
Everybody understand that? As far as if both of you cross, first is worst, we'll go to cameras. If you jump, obviously disqualified. I got the final say, I am the flagger. What happens on that track, I got to follow ruling. Eric's not going to say nothing to you about yeah and nay. You can go to him. He's going to point you to me. Everybody good with that? So we have designated cameras. That's all the cameras I'm going to go by. I'm not going to take everybody standing here as a video. I got designated cameras. That's all we're going to go by. Make it fair for everybody. On the chip draw, you get to buy one time in the race. That's the only time you get to buy. So if you get to buy first round, you can never get to buy again. We write all this down. Pairs coming up right now, lining up. We got Alan Pizza King over here, OP Taylor. What's up, boss? What's up, brother? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you, man. What's you too, you too. This is the uh, first time you had OP out here in uh, Digger Die? You know, we were talking about that. I cannot recall. We didn't run this in July, did we? We didn't run this down here in July. I don't think we had it yet. No. First time? We were talking about it last night. We can't remember. I think it is the first time for us on this surface yeah okay so so yeah we're uh got any kind of a tuna you know we were hoping for not third pair down so <laughs> i based this tune up on a little further down right. the list but we just left it alone i think it'll take it we weren't getting too crazy with it anyway okay. so I, we were trying to be a little on the conservative side so based on what we saw last night i think it'll take it we feel good all right, well, you guys are pretty reliable first round, so... Uh, I, I Confidence is usually high in the first round, unless we just draw a killer. Uh, but we don't know. We don't know this guy. We, we don't know. You never unknown, know. A lot of unknown guys here, you right? You never know. That's good. So, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be All right, good luck first round small tire, right? Appreciate it. All right, cheers. Woo! I never thought I'd see a starlet on a uh, no prep surface. Yeah, here it is. Without a rotor, yeah. No, without a rotor, yeah. I was at the World Cup and saw about a hundred of them, but out here I never thought I'd see one. I actually like to make power, so that's why I got that. <laughs> what is it? Obviously, LS. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a 434, uh, a little bit of block, stock block, it's a little bit of control I had a Nova last year, and then uh, everyone's too fast, so I tried to get something a little lighter. We only got probably five hits on the car, so I don't really know what to do. Does it work well on the backside? Um. About to find out. This is uh, what? Well, we only have five hits on this. So. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. We drove all the way up to New York. So. Now, when I was at World Cup, none of these cars went straight. Does your car go straight? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Times a little hand control. You got to drive it though, right? I, I'm in a wheelchair. I drive. A wheelchair. Oh, you're in a wheelchair. Yeah, so I drive it with uh, oh. hand controls. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Hand controls and everything. Yeah. All right, all right. It's a handful. <laughs> that, this is an awesome car. I love these little things. Yeah. Like, this is pretty cool. All right, brother. Well, uh, good luck today in small tire, and I'm pulling for you, man. I Thanks. love this car. I got a killer. I got hustle north power, so I don't know. Oh, you got, uh, but, yeah. you got, you got Nick over there, right? Yeah. All right, well, let's see what the old starlet's got. Appreciate it, buddy. All right, thanks. Good luck. Driving the Z? I am. What's the setup of the Z? It's a uh, 6 LS with twin 76 precision turbos on M1. Twin 76, eh? Yeah. New I'll... setup, trying to figure it out. Oh, it's a brand new setup? And switch fuel, switch the methanol. Oh, so, okay. Oh, you switch the fuel. Yeah. Okay. How does it get down on the backside? Uh, it's, it's done decent in the past, but yeah. Rockingham's always tricky, so we'll see. Do you have a lot of data here? I've raced out here three or four times. Yeah. Uh, every time, I change something up. Zero data. <laughs> yeah, you got to start over, right? <laughs> well, I love the Z car, man. You never yeah. see these anymore. No, they're very cars come across, so nice. at least on the back side still. Well, it looks cool, Let's and uh, I love to see you uh, go around here, buddy. Yeah, thank you. All right, good luck, small tire. All right, first round, small tire coming up, guys. We got our first 20 pair up here. They're going to keep coming after that. All right, here we go. 
Dig or die, Christmas Clash floor. This is round number one, small tire, right here. Good.
got hand controls on the steering wheel. That's badass. In a starlet of all things. I love these little cars. I know, it's a gamble. Yeah, 117 small tire cars here today. 37 grand up for grabs. Look at that, somebody stole the windshield. <laughs> I sure do love fake news. <laughs> hey brother, love the sticker. <laughs> Car looks good, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Check it out, Chad. Y'all know what that's from. How's it going, buddy? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. What board is that? 2JZ. That's a 2J. And this is a Corolla, right? What year is it? 81. 81 Corolla? 81 or 80. 80. 80. 2JZ. Big turbo? My size. <laughs> you uh, backside this very much? Uh, we do it a lot. Do it a lot? Yeah. Do you have any data here? Or? From a long time ago. Long time ago, eh? So it's probably. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool car, man. Love the Corollas, love the 2Js. What made you uh, build uh, this chassis here? What was? What do you like about the old Corollas? Do they go straight? Some of them. Some of them? Does this one go straight? <laughs> no, this no. one's all over the place. <laughs> We're still trying to figure it out. Now, was that like a short wheelbase thing, or kind of like that Starla that just went down? He was, they're pretty wacky at World Cup, man. That's pretty cool. Well, I love the build, man, the 2J and the Corolla. Badass, I love love the patina, man. Looks perfect. Good luck, small tire, right? Yeah. All right.
Great lane, though. Great lane taking the win. That was a hell of a race. Oh, it's a cross. That's right. There's an outside cross. So if you go outside of this lane right here, you're out. So because he almost hit the wall, his own wall, that's a cross. So he's out. Right lane's going to win.
away. Oh, he's got to check the tape. Waiting for the call. Left, left lane, left lane, taking out Kelly Day. Left lane moving on. He didn't touch there. He must have on him. RPM. Now here taking pictures. Follow on Facebook, 5252rpm.com on Facebook. This guy takes the best pictures. Is it the shit vet? <laughs> uh, what size board do you got in there? Uh, it's just a rod piston 5.3. Rod piston 5.3? Yeah. How big is the 85. 85? Does it go straight? Very straight. Really? Yeah. Short yeah. wheelbase? Actually really easy to drive. No doubt. When the, as long as the front wheels stay down. <laughs> oh yeah, she, uh, she's known for going up. Yeah. You uh, have much data on the backside here? I've never been here. Never been here before? No. All right. So what's the tune-up? Tame it? Uh, yeah, I went, I backed it down from the street, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I guess we'll see. All right, buddy, well, good luck, small tire, right? Thank you, I appreciate it. Awesome, love the car. Uh,
Lane getting right out of shape. Right lane moving on.
left lane is going to take the win. Left lane for the win.
going to take an easy win. Right lane, a little off a hood scoop or something. You know, nitrous car things. champion out here. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, how you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good, doing good. Trying to do it on the smalls again. So moving back to the smalls, you had a good first round there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Good dad, are you gonna turn up a little bit this round? Yeah, gotta keep getting faster if you think you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, will you be the first person potentially to win both big tire and small tire at uh, Digger Dot? Has it been done before? Uh, no, because they haven't really allowed double entry a whole lot in the past, so possibly. Okay. If I can get, if I can win small tire today, I might be the first to win all three in a row in a year too. So. No kidding, right? Let's see. <laughs> like the triple crown here, yeah. uh, Kentucky. Kentucky yeah. Derby, whatever it's called. Yeah, but there's a lot of out of towners here today, so it's, it's gonna be some fast racing if we get down to it. Yeah. I got the guy. I got a killer right now. I got to race till he go. So. Oh. No, oh. that's good. All right, so you gotta be on your game right now. All right, brother. Good luck, small tire. Next round. Thank you, man. All right. Pat is out here. Pat, 94 millimeter. Thermal oil. He was getting down to big tire last night. He got a 29 inch tire on here. And then uh, now he's double classing. He's got the 28 back on it now. Made a hell of a good pass first round. So let's see if uh, old Badges here can do, uh, do some magic. I think he has small tire. We've got the rest of round two lining up here, pairing up, matching up. Hustling horsepower Nick out here. Straight gangster. What's happening, Nick? How you doing? How's it going? Pretty good, you? Doing all right. How's the truck? Uh, I was a little too conservative first in the first 60 feet last pass. Yeah, but I still ran a pretty good, pretty good number. Yeah, you came around in the end. It hazed the tire a little bit, about 200 feet. So it knocked probably about a tenth and a half from what my target was to the, to the 330. But I still ran a pretty decent number off the back. And the back split was still uh, was still pretty damn good with the uh, being shy a mile an hour from where what it was. Right, so, uh, right. Yeah. You know, and first round, I feel like that was a, a mediocre, decent pass, but uh, I want to be up in the top tiers and, you know. All right. Then, all right. then you only have to pick it up a little bit. <laughs> all right, brother. Looks we'll like we're going to get ready, so uh, good luck for it. round two. Thank you. Hustle the horsepower on YouTube, guys. Give us up. All right, straight gangster. Love that truck. This is round number two, small tire here at Dig or Die at Rockingham Dragway.
late. Great lane, Nick from Hustlin' Horsepower taking the win on that. Both trucks getting loose on the big end. Clean it up a wreck out there, you got a minute. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna push up here so everyone's up the line. Hey, how's the car after that wheelie, buddy? <laughs> Good. <Yeah. laughs> We're gonna try not to right, not go. do that again. Try not to do that again. <laughs> I say it every time, like, it's not going to win. I'll do it. You made a big change, but I got it. Like, turn it down, big change? Or? I'm about to let like, go. Tight in front end. So, tight in front end. I don't know if it's going to be too tight or not. Do we race the second round? Um, right here. The, the orange one? Yep. Okay. Well, that was a hell of a wheelie, man, and taking the win. Uh, I'm not going to lie, that was pretty damn, damn entertaining. Um, yeah, don't do it again because you, know, you want to win, right? Yeah. We want to go fast. <laughs> let's go fast. That's when races 90% of the time. Yeah, you gave us the wheelie. Now just go fast with that one. Right. <laughs> no, it's going. Uh, any changes? A little heavy here since we last saw it? Same thing. Same old Trying to test it, get data with it, leave it alone. So. You've been winning a lot of races lately, man. I, I see it in the news there. Yeah. Big fist full of money. So. Yeah. That's good to see it. I'm happy for you, buddy. We get lucky every now and then. <laughs> yeah, look at it. All right, brother. Good luck. Second round. Small right. tire, right? Thank you. Right on.
out of shape. It's going to be a left blade win.
straight to the wind.
clutches for the win. Next car with all kinds of trouble sputtering up wide there.
Yeah, right lane, right lane for the win. That is the most unique wing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. And it works. Yeah. It's getting down. <laughs> I gotta know though, what's the science behind it? I can't say, I ain't gonna say too much on camera. Oh, it's a secret? A trade secret? I mean, it ain't really, it's just, if you got common sense, you kinda see what's going on. If you don't, I ain't gonna tell you. It, it looks like it's pushing down. I see where it's pushing. Yeah. All right. This car ain't meant for the backside, but I brought two cars today, see what happens. Okay, brother, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is really grown on me. I like it. And this car's been getting down. So, chat. Like or hate it, it's working. Can't argue with the science. All right, here we go. Small tire. I like the right side. Patches to the left. Yeah, that's the right lane, that's the right lane. You can't 
can't you can't cross this line. If you cross this line over here, it counts as a cross. So that was clear as day there. Good today. Thanks. Give me a uh, give me a little rundown of the setup. All my viewers know that small block Ford, 427 cubic inch, got two folders on it from Nitrous Express. Um, it's a Mustang. That's it is. It sure is. How long? Where you're at? How long have you been uh, working on this car? This car we built over last winter um, because I wrecked the original Raggedy Ann car at War in the Woods last year. So okay. this was a, uh, honestly, I, I, I wasn't going to build another car right away. And like, I just woke up and decided to build another one. Got the bug again, eh? And it, it was, <laughs> what was it? it? was a few days or a week later. Oh, wow. We built another car over the winter. So, so were you able to salvage a lot of parts from the old car? I wasn't able to salvage really much of anything on the body. Right. The windshield, the windshield's the same. That door over there is the same. Oh, yeah. The wing. Nope. 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 That's, that's the engine and transmission. The engine and transmission. Drive shaft. Drive good. shaft. But and all that's the rest of it. it. So the rest of the car is all all new. Yeah. So where did uh, Raggedy Ann come from? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the one in the uh, red and black flannel thing. Over Wife there. named it. <laughs> <laughs> she named it. That's cool. No, that's cool. So yeah, Raggedy Ann, Ohio small tire. On YouTube. There you go. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we we appreciate it. We all we all work hard to get this thing done, and make it what it is. Like we come out, we couldn't get it to go down anything, and then it was just like overnight it decided to be an animal. And went on a nice little streak for a while. We was we was doing real good with it, and then uh, yeah. it fell off again. Like right there in the middle of the, the summer, it was really good, and then it fell off again. It's nice to come back out here to and do good. Yeah. I've been here two years. We just had the heads off of it, and my machinist cut all the combustion chambers out of it at the plug holes when they cracked, re-welded everything up, real new holes, remade the wow. combustion chambers and everything for me to come to this race. Wow. So I said it'll never do it again, ever. <laughs> <laughs> never. <laughs> Ball's working. You're yeah. rolling out there. You're yeah. looking good. We've got a lot of really good people with me and behind us. So yep. It makes it makes a lot of things possible. Good. Good. It's important. All right, brother. Well, thanks for that, and uh, good luck. Thanks. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, eh? Appreciate you. Small tire quarterfinals. Right here at Digger Die Christmas Class Four at Rocky Dragway. Let's go.
right. It looked to me like left, but right lane for the win. Bye-bye, Maryland. All right. We got our Extreme Street Finals right here. Extreme Street. So remember, if you cross this line, it counts as a cross and you're out. And uh, Raggedy Ann went across this line. I did see him, but I wasn't going to say anything until he made the call. Small tire final right here, dig or die. This is flat four. 37K on the line. Small tire final for your dig or die Christmas class four. Small tire final right here.
was it? What is it? What's it called? Right lane! Right lane! Chevy 2 taking the win. Right lane. All right, guys, that's going to do it from Dig or Die Christmas Clash 4 right here at Rockingham Dragway. Amazing event. Amazing. 117 cars and small tire, 37K US. Like, amazing. Shout out to Chris Peglo going uh, semifinals in the, uh, the stick shift class. Make sure you check out Peglo's on YouTube. Uh, there's going to be some uh, cool action on that from this event, so check it out. And thanks for watching live stream. Uh, live stream VODs will remain live. If you go to my YouTube channel, click on the live tab, and then you can watch all my past live streams. You can rewatch them in full length. But uh, that's it from uh, Rockingham Dragway. Whew. It's been a long one. But uh, I will be back. This is amazing. So, like, my first stick or die. Absolute amazing experience. So I'll be back. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching live stream. And... Uh, Subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.